Not to be missed has been an easing favourite. Speedy ready. Miss joins them now and they're ready. All set at the 1400. Fire! the mini tick of the clock racing and Gillespie is a clear last out of the gate. Speedy Miss went straight back. One of the first away is Zephyr Queen. Shawish began much quicker this afternoon and Lace Vinsky's driving up there and so Sir Mambo. Right behind them, Dicoletto's going to lob into the box seat in the early part. Then a length and a half to War Class Trap. Three deep outside. Be quick. Friars Fantasia down on the inside then. Position of power who's ripping and tearing back there. Had to check off heels ahead of Gillespie. Not not to be missed being followed by playing Marika over on the inside speedy miss and one point lady brought up the rear of the field at the 750 Zephyr Queen steadied in front led three quarters Sir Mambo strode to second a length and a half to not to be missed there's an early move from Pike around them after being back and he's put the favorite right up into the firing line Lace Vinsky down on his inside next is getting crowded for room she wish had got pushed back being followed by war class Dicoletto had lost its spot in transit as well around them position Position of power playing Marika and further back Gillespie and also Fry on the inside. Friars Fantasia. Sir Mambo had hit the front. 300 to go. Not to be missed. And Lace Vinsky bursting through between them. Not to be missed. Called upon. Lace Vinsky going with it. Lace Vinsky not to be missed. At the 100. Lace Vinsky not to be missed on the outside. Lace Vinsky not to be missed. Head and head. They split it together. What a finish. Not to be missed or Lace Vinsky. Not sure really. Friars Fantasia flew home on the inside. My might have grabbed third from Dicoletto and they were followed further back then by on the outside B Quick Shawish Samambo then Speedy Miss War Class one point lady the tiring Zephyr Queen back there playing Marika a couple behind it when they'd pulled up Gillespie and position of power well he should get here Pike on not to be missed on the outside of Lace Vinsky Pat Carberry trying to get the upper hand but the grey Number three, not to be missed, will lunge and win. Numbers in the frame, three not to be missed. Beats number eight, Lace Vinsky. Third home will be number 10, Friars Fantasia. Fourth home was number two, and that was Dicoletto. Well, an early move there by Pike paid off. It certainly was something that most punters wouldn't have been expecting. They, he put him into the race like the best horse. In the end, it's some sort of ride. It could have been if he'd gone under, maybe pull the trigger a bit early, but that's a serious race horse to do what he just did there, and that's against his race pattern, and that's shown something more versatile than what he has in the past. That was impressive. Yeah, he read the play. He knew he had to make a move and put himself into the race race uh, in the circumstances of the day and it certainly paid off a winning move narrow but dominant I would have thought uh, second horse fought very very hard uh, it's got its foot on the kill for Ice Fantasia. Okay well Brett's about to find out what Pike was thinking there and it's come off Brett with a win on not to be missed. It's come off in the final bound not to be missed it makes it to uh, Pikey a really different ride talk us through exactly what happened. Um, I jumped OK and I was always looking for a three wide spot with cover. Um, I couldn't muster to go as forward as I would have liked. Um, then I was just looking for any sort of cover. Um, there was a bit of a muddling run race early and I, I actually sort of got pretty close to heels and uh, I was all looking pretty ugly so I thought we can't possibly win from here so uh, yeah, I did what uh, <laughs> I just took off like an idiot but it, it seemed to work. Gee does it add more merit to the run, considering the weight the horse is carrying today as well? Yeah, that's right. it definitely does. Um, you know, to do that with 60 kilos is a great effort. Uh, yeah, he just, he just doesn't know to stop this guy. Um, it's a good effort, just all I can say, really. We're getting closer to the big one, the Group 1 Winterbottom Stakes. How are you feeling about Stageman? Yeah, pretty good. Um, you know, if I can get him a smooth run... He'll go good. Uh, got some stiff opposition, but I just if I can get him a smooth run last start, I outsmarted myself and made him look, or made myself look bad. So hopefully we can make amends and just find, just find my own little patch of racing and just see what he can really do. All right, well, you're in form. Good luck later and congratulations on this one. Thank you. Well, Duff, I think in the space of about a minute there, Pike had given himself three uppercuts. Yeah, he might come with a big finish though and have last laugh. OK, let's go over to uh, Wes Cameron now with the winning trainer, Adam Durant. Thank you, Greg. Well, Adam, uh, gee, there was a lot to like about that win. Yeah, really courageous effort, wasn't it? He, uh, 
he jumped right. Willie said he sort of jumped good and, you know, there was just a bit of carnage going on. And I think, to be honest, I think Willie just um, cracked the shits and he just said, this is uh, not my day and just uh, hunted forward, to be honest. It's not what you usually see Willie doing, but, you know, he made a sustained run from the 1,000 to probably the 500, maybe rested for 100 metres and then had to fight the length of the straight with 60 kilos. So, a great performance by the horse and uh, he's always shown us above average ability and uh, without any disrespect to the opposition, they, they're not the, the top grade, so, you know, I thought he was the best horse in the race, but I, uh, I, didn't, I didn't expect him to be able to do that today and, uh, and keep, uh, keep coming like he did. I'm really uh, proud of the horse. So you should be five from eight now, and I think you're right. He, he looked the best horse in the race, but there were things against him. The wide draw, the 60 kilos, where was Pike going to be? And all of a sudden, uh, a ride like that, it just shows you what's inside the horse. Yeah, that's right. And, and Willie sort of rested him and, and nursed him for as long as he can. I know he was waiting for that last 20 metres, I think, to really uh, ask him for the supreme effort. And uh, look, to the horse's credit, he stuck his head out. And, uh, you know, they've run 121 something. And, you know, it's a good horse's time. And he carried a good horse's weight. And he'll, uh, he'll sleep well tonight. But um, no, I'm really proud of this horse. He's, he's done a great job. And, and to be honest, he probably shouldn't be beaten. He's been unlucky when he's got beat. So he's been a really good money spinner. You had a very big smile on your face when you came into the mounting yard, so I can see why you are so proud. What's, what's the future hold for him? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Look, I think that, looking at that, that'll be his grand final. I think this preparation, I think uh, if we hurt him too much, but I'd like to give him a good long spell. I think he'll, he's a carnival contender. I think he can get into a railway or something next year. Uh, they're always tough to win, but light prep over winter and maybe have another crack at the summer carnival. I think he's, uh, he deserves it and uh, he's a lightly raced four-year-old. Great win. Well done. Thank you. Adam Durand, and uh, not to be missed, successful in the Tab Touch West Speed Platinum Series final.